going on. This is an example of a restaurant and and it's very interactive. You want to make your website interactive to uh, be able to communicate, to be able to view and be able to be a part of whatever business you have or whatever message you're trying to convey on your website. You want to be able to get them to stay and come back. So and also give them updates about what's going on. Use online video to make small commercials or informational videos about what's going on with your business. And the next step is how to plan your web. This is a really busy site. It has a lot of uh, graphs on it and things of that nature. But what you can see is, is that you need to have a plan which coincides with your marketing strategy when it comes to everything working together. So you want to know what the pages are going to do, what they're going to say, where they're going to lead the customer, how are you going to lead the customer, and what you, how you're actually going to manipulate them further and further into to your website. So you want to be able to do that before you talk to a web developer or an SEO person. You want to be able to show and the, the look and the function of your website. And I have two different choices here, and you can see that one leads to the other and how it would draw the customer or the your online perspective into your business. Some of the critical strategy elements of course are the offer and this has to do with the product and pricing position of your company. The list which is the targeting vehicle and the targeting vehicle could be pay-per-click, it could be email marketing, it could be traditional marketing such as a newspaper or radio or the television you want to also consider what media is used and that goes back to the questions that you asked which led you to the research about the trends and behaviors of people and you want to always keep that in mind and then also you have the creative execution which is the action oriented content and that lets them know what the call to action is what you want the customer to do you also want to have the service and support which is a key element in the shopping experience you want they want to know that they can get a hold of you at any time they can communicate with you anytime if they have a problem or issue a question and also how to get a hold of them if they want to be on some sort of a list and that's really important to consider to the database list and then how are you going to capture that information on your website and as Johnny spoke to on our panel if for those of you who weren't at the panel Johnny is someone who is expert in developing web sites and also is very keen on how to create something in order to get that dynamic feel and that functionality of a website so that's really important and your call to action is knowing again what you want your customer to do how you want them to respond where you want them to respond to or if you want them to buy also incentives are important you have a related product or service and special attractiveness to that target market and that goes back to those questions it goes back to the research and the trends and behaviors and all that other stuff the third step is developing your e-strategy you want to know where your customers shop what they buy where they buy how they search their motivations and you also must realize that the customer controls price on the web it's pretty much the customer controls price they control where they go, how they buy, and how much they spend. And also you must have information to drive your strategy and that goes back to the research and those questions. This is an example of an online browsing for goods and services research report which was conducted back in 2000 but the numbers have pretty much remained the same and may have changed a little bit. But you have the uh, electricity, gas supplies, and all the way on the bottom you have uh, media, books, healthcare, music, and CDs, and you have holiday and travel leisure at the bottom. And you can see what sort of information you may be looking for and what sort of trends you may be looking for. And these are some of the tactics that you can work or that work. You have referrals, direct email marketing, search engine listings like SEO and SEM. You also have special interest sites with partners and that's sharing links and things. And you have pay-per-click and there's other 
ways of doing that and uh, other tactics that you consider, but you have to get that from the research that you're going to look into. And some of the research of what effective tactics are both online and offline. You have customized extranets and you have either highly effective to create awareness or highly effective to create loyalty. And you can see that extranets, uh, referrals from affiliate partners and direct email marketing are pretty high in both areas. And then you have a comparison to offline such as print advertising, TV, trade shows, and sponsorships and stuff. And that's also what you want to consider and what you want to actually, the types of things you're looking for when you're developing your strategy. The fourth step is in order to develop a storefront, it must be interactive, it must be easy to use and navigate, it must load quickly, and must directly load by one to three links maximum. And if not, if the customer can't get to where they're going, at least when going back to what I talked to before about the landing pages and how they are similar to or are familiar with whatever marketing you were doing, they have to match. And they have to, the customer are, has to recognize exactly where they're going, what they're looking for right away. And you must give them access to products and services. It must be automated. The customer service, the transactions, and the product interaction and you must build customer relationships through your web as well. And that has to do with a lot of customer service. And what your website should do, it should be one, attract profitable customers. And that's what, what those goals and objectives should be. Do you want them to be transactional or relational? And if you want to make a profit, you want to attract profit customers. And actions must be trackable and collect information and understand it. You must know exactly through your web analytics what they're doing, where they're going on your website. You also have to build a loyal relationship. You have to build a brand both on and offline. And you have to automate customer service, give them what they are looking for and be interactive and easy to use. You also wanna create instant gratification. Eliminate or reduce buyer remorse and you want to be able to keep them interested and you want them to be able to do something while they're there. This next slide is targeted online advertising spending. These numbers have changed a little bit and they go all the way to 2014 now, but you can see what sort of behaviorally targeted advertising um, is displayed to a selective audience whose interests or intentions are relative to by website. So. you want to be targeted back and going back into those trends and behaviors. You also, what online video viewers are responding to, to online advertising. Uh, when you use online advertising, you can see that they checked out a website, a search for information. These are some of the things that you want to consider looking for or asking questions about when you're developing that strategy. And the next slide, you have the behaviorally targeted audience, that's uh, adult internet users who are interested in receiving personalized advertising. And you can see the internet is 70%. And mobile phones actually moving up too. So you wanna consider that as well when you're developing a tactic or a strategy. What sort of medium you're gonna be using when you're sending out personalized advertising. And then also you have direct marketing tactics that US marketers combine with search engine optimization. You have SEO with targeting, so they're targeting specific markets, SEO and SEM with response mechanisms. So some of these, some of these trends that you wanna also keep in mind. You wanna make sure that you're combining not only SEO and SEM, but with targeted advertising or marketing tactics and to specific parts of the market. First, I'd like to thank you for listening in on my presentation. I'd like to thank everybody for watching, and if you would like to contact me, you can call at 619-401-4022. You can also email me, and for our blog, you can go to www.power-find.com blog. Again, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed our presentation. Thank you.